How many beams can you send from a memory? This is a question that I get repeatedly on social media, so in this video I will provide you with my best answer. A MIMO array is this collection of antennas that we are using in 5G base stations. So we can use these antennas to direct signals as beams towards different users, so we can send multiple signals at the same time at the same frequency. And the starting point is a collection of antennas that we call an antenna array, or we call it MIMO. And here you see an example of four antennas in a uniform linear array configuration. Suppose we deploy these antennas here, and then we send the same signals from all the antennas, but with different delays. In this way, we can form a beam pointing in a particular direction. Here is one example of that. And when we are varying the delays between different antennas, we can make this beam go in different directions. And as you can see from this animation, there are very many different directions. You can even say that there are infinitely many directions. So we don't have a limitation of the number of beams. However, you can then select a subset of them, in this case, four different beams, and send them towards different users. So you want to point one beam towards each of these different users. And what is the goal when you do this so-called beam forming? Well, you want the signal to be strong at the desired user, the yellow signal to the yellow user, but you also want the interference from the other concurrent signals to be weak. And this is really the challenge that determines how many beams we can send at the same time. These beam illustrations are just showing that the signal is strongest in a particular direction, but actually the area that you will be covering with the yellow beam is more like a cone pointing in a number of different directions. So it is also covering the green user. Similarly, the signal going to the green user is covering a wider area. It is strongest in the middle, but it will also reach the yellow and red user. Same thing goes for the red and the blue signals. They will be overlapping, which tells you here that we are sending too many beams. So we can, for example, turn off some of the beams. Now we send the yellow and the red one, and we see that they are not overlapping in the sense that the yellow user will mainly see its signal and the red user will only see its signal. The green and blue user will see interference, but we are not sending anything to them right now. So this is an example where it might be preferable to not send an infinite number of beams, but a limited number of them. Let's go back to the original question. How many beams can you send from a MIMO array? Well, as soon as you have two antennas, you can send an infinite number of different beams. You can even send them at the same time. The real question is actually how many do you want to send at the same time? And there, the answer is the following. If you have X antennas, the beams have a width so that you can send X different beams in different directions without them overlapping match, which means that you can send X beams with low interference in between your transmissions. However, these beams should be aimed towards users and the probability that the users are at locations that are nicely spaced in angle is not so big. In practice, you might not know exactly where the users are, which leads to additional interference when the beams are not aimed properly. For that reason, you might want to only send x divided by 4 beams in practice. And this is a typical rule of thumb that is also used in what we call massive MIMO systems, where we are using many more antennas than we are sending beams. So a practical example is this 5G base station, which contains X equal to 64 different antennas. And the standard is only supporting up to X divided by 4, so 16 different beams in this system. In summary, the number of antennas is the practical upper bound on how many beams you want to send in a MIMO system. And in practice, you typically only want to send, say, 25% of that in order to protect yourself against interference. If you want to know more about how beamforming works, I recommend you to watch this other video.